Greetings, Elder Blacklight. Y'all remember this guy right here? This video here is about to get into some whistleblowers, snitches. But see, can you detect the trignology? The most important story of 2019 is currently getting buried. The coronavirus is the perfect way to move global consciousness away from Jeffrey Epstein. Ghislaine Maxwell and Jean-Luc Brunel are currently literally in hiding to not be prosecuted as co-conspirators. They trafficked more than 1,000 women to Epstein, many of which were under the age of 18, some as young as 12. This apartment block, he just had women on tap. He had girls on tap. He had girls on tap. Jeffrey told me that he has slept with over 1,000 of Jean-Luc Brunel's models slash victims. And you believe that? I do. Virginia Roberts Jufre was trafficked to British royalty Prince Andrew three times, starting when she was 17 years old. Andrew claims to have no recollection of meeting Virginia and says that this photograph could be doctored. A polite British way of saying fake news. Because I, I have no recollection of that photograph ever being taken. Nobody can prove uh, whether or not um, that it, that photograph has been doctored, but I don't recollect that photograph ever being taken. So as you know, Prince Andrew denies the allegations against him, and he says that this photo is a fake, that he was never there, and that he's not his arm, and they're not his fingers. Those are his fingers, that is Andrew. This photo has been verified as an original, and it's been since given to the FBI, and they've never contested that it's a fake, and I know it's real. And he needs to stop with all of these lame excuses. We're sick of hearing it. This is a real photo. And that was the first time you met him? And that's the very first time I met him. And that's right before I was abused by him. Epstein's properties were wired with hidden pinhole cameras. The Department of Justice found compact discs locked in his New York mansion safe with handwritten labels, Young Name Plus Name. Having this level of blackmail material makes Epstein an obvious target. Was Epstein a construct of intelligence communities collecting compromat, compromising material, for geopolitical strategic advantage? If so, of course he couldn't live. State-sponsored manipulation of the elites at this scale would be unprecedented. For almost 30 years, he stayed under the radar of the general public. Only in the last year, we tripped over what seems to be one of the most important clandestine stories of the last three decades. Now we are being treated like little fucking kids that know the mainstream media narrative is bullshit. Generation Alpha will call us insane for not revolting against this caliber of cruelty and manipulation. Throughout the documentary, we will leverage three critical visual designs as foundational pillars. 1. The Timeline 2. The Decision Tree 3. The Questions Let's begin keeping a tab on our most important questions. 1. How do we inspire tech and military intervention in capturing Ghislaine Maxwell and Jean-Luc Brunel? What they want to take us into, and we are going into unless we wake up, is so fantastically different from the world we've known that they have a big problem with that, that chasm. So, I'm not saying this is about the Matrix, possibly, but I'm not, I'm not saying it for sure, but I am saying it for sure, about this stream of movies, year after year after year after year, that are portraying the very dystopian machine-controlled society that they want to take us into. Because it, it's called preemptive programming. 
what they're doing is systematically making us subconsciously, consciously too more and more, but subconsciously familiar with that world. So that as it comes in for real, it's less of a chasm, it's less of a shock, because we, we're being prepared for it. Because it's all a mind game, it's all a perception game. The, the whole uh, uh, thing is uh, a perception game. So what Morpheus did in the Matrix movie is he held up a battery and he said, um, basically, the machines have turned human into one of these, which is an energy source. And you remember the, the scenes in the, in the Matrix of, of the babies and having their, their energy uh, trawled? If, if you look at common themes uh, of ancient cultures um, and of uh, people I've spoken to uh, on the inside of the system, uh, particularly in America, um, there is a common theme that these entities um, feed off human low vibrational energy. Um, because of um, a perceptual state is a frequency. If I'm in a state of depression, then I'm in a, I'm in a frequency. Depression is a frequency. Joy is a frequency in our reality. Um, and if you're going to absorb energy as a source of sus energetic sustenance, then that energy has to be within the frequency band you operate on. And, and these um, non-human entities that um, are manipulating human society, by the very nature of who they are, how they act, I mean, the human word psychopath and psychopathic just encapsulates them. Um, if you look at the so-called hair test of psychopathic traits, including no empathy and, and at the top, um, where people have no fail-safe mechanism of behavior because they have no emotional consequence because they have no empathy, therefore anything goes. Things that we couldn't do because emotionally, empathetically, we couldn't do it to people, they have no problem because they, have, they, they are empathy deleted. So they're in a low-frequency state. Um, and therefore, if they're going to use uh, humans as an energetic source, human emotion has to be in a low-vibrational state. So they've set up a human society to generate maximum fear, low vibrational state, anxiety, depression, um, conflict, um, and all these um, low vibrational emotional states, uh, you know, fear of the future, um, uh, regret of the, uh, the past, um, resentment, all these low vibrational states, and they feed off them. They feed off them, just like Morpheus was talking about. They've turned humans into one of these. So we are an energy source to them, um, and the uh, the idea is to get uh, humans controlled by artificial intelligence, so that they completely control our perceptual state. Is that the final plan? Yes. Then they're done if they do that right. And um, yes, because then then they've got complete control. They um, will then be able, through artificial intelligence, to dictate. Um, the human uh, frequency. Then they're done if they do that right. Um, yes, because then, then they've got complete control. They um, will then be able, through artificial intelligence, to dictate um, the human uh, frequency and be able to feed off it. And, and uh, without anything like the same amount of manipulation it's taken this far. See, so if you have a war, even fear of a war. Fear of a war, anxiety. A war itself, it's an energetic explosion of low vibrational energy. So he said, sitting in the circle of the creation of our universe, that those who were assigned to helping him create worlds upon worlds, because you read only especially in the Holy Quran, the little word, we. Working with the God. In the Bible, maybe you can understand it in Genesis, let us. <laughs> so there's some plurality to the singularity of our identification of God. And to understand that, imagine that you're sitting with God right now. Mm -hmm. And he's directing us, willing us to pull out of us 
our creativity. So we are creators too. But we cannot be creators without tracing our origin to the originator. That keeps us humble, brothers and sisters. Because if we go around saying, I'm the God, you know, I'm the originator, then you're headed huh, for destruction. Not by an outside force, going back to that force, an inside force. The force that brought you here is the same force that was in the beginning, pulling up things and objects into view. There was a push, there was a force from your mother's womb that ultimately made the invisible visible. So if you trace your birth through nine months, you come out of your mother's womb. You cannot avoid it, male or female. They had not constructed the male yet. So they're probably trying <laughs> with a womb <laughs> to produce a child. So just imagine when God was making himself up into darkness, that darkness the Honorable Elijah Muhammad identified as a womb. How about that? Yeah. So we just can't get away from the feminine. You can't throw the woman out. You can't disrespect the woman. You can't abuse the woman. You cannot use the woman and her child for your emotional, sexual passion. The black woman is the real matrix. See, uh, David Eagle, he want to make like it's some creatures other than his people, other than the Caucasians that's manipulating all of this. He's whistleblowing, but he's trying to remove himself from part of his own people. And all this is showing you the technology that the television is programming you with. But we're going to deprogram you. I'm just trying to hip you to yourself. This is Black Light. Stay tuned.